Uh, the 14 Riverside Drive during the Tuesday terror attack have not been accounted for. That is according to the Kenya Red Cross. By 12.30 p.m. today, the Kenya Red Cross said it had completed tracing 19 people who were earlier unaccounted for. 14 Riverside Drive remains a crime scene with a heavy presence of security officers. Among those who lost their lives in the Tuesday attack were four employees of the Ducit D2 Hotel. Other Chiromo mortuary, family and friends who lost their loved ones gathered to identify bodies of those who died. By midday Thursday, the Kenya Red Cross in a statement said it had concluded all tracing cases with the remaining 19 people now accounted for. 14 Riverside Drive, the scene of the Tuesday afternoon attack, remained cordoned off as security officers and forensic experts continue the search for possible leads in the investigations. Four explosives were recovered and the car used by the attackers to gain access to the area was stored away. The death toll from the attack initially stood at 14 but rose by Wednesday evening. Six other bodies were found at the scene and one police officer succumbed very sadly to his injuries while undergoing treatment. Among those who lost their lives were four employees of the Ducit D2 Hotel. Three employees of the hotel are admitted to hospital. Our prayers are with them and we will ensure that all the families affected will get our full support during these difficult times and the times ahead. 14 Riverside Complex and Ducit D2 Hotel are currently closed until further notice. All our resident guests have been relocated to nearby hotels. As investigations continue, we will be sharing more information as it becomes available to us. 100 employees were on duty at the hotel when the attack happened. The hotel management would not disclose the details of those who lost their lives, the number of guests who were booked into the hotel, nor the events that were taking place at the hotel, which is one of the premises at the 14 Riverside Drive. Rita Tinina, KTN News.